Hi, welcome. Thank you for joining me in your practice today. I'm KT Lynn with Mystic Yoga. And so for today's practice, we're going to be focusing on our shoulders, this upper chest region um, that many of, us, uh, many of us right now are probably, you know, sitting inside, sitting in our desks, or hopefully we get a little time outside. But for those in-between moments, uh, we might be finding ourselves more stagnant than usual. Um, so I wanted to kind of, you know, take today's practice and focus on having this upper chest region remain open, especially in uncertain times and, you know, this kind of, you know, unknown that we're all um, kind of in together. Um, so that's why this practice is called Don't Shoulder It Alone. <laughs> so we're really, you know, you know, no pun intended, but really that's, that's what it's all about, keeping this heart space open and knowing that we are all connected, we are all one, and we're in this together. Um, the human experience is real, and we're here together. I'm here with you, and you're here with me, and thank you for allowing me to teach you today. So, let's we'll start off with our breath, um, just kind of creating this quick focus of, you know, centering and grounding, and then we'll move from there. All right. So as you find that comfortable seat, allow your sits bones to ground. You can even sit on your heels. You can sit with the legs extended out long. I prefer to sit in this cross leg position. That's kind of just how I like to sit. So just taking this time here, let your eyes either soften to a space downward, soften the gaze or eyes all the way to close. We'll just start with three deep breaths together. So we'll start with our first inhale breath, breathing in through the nose, breathe in soft and slow. And with a deep breath out, sigh the breath, full exhale out. Two more just like that, soft, steady breath in. And then release and cleansing breath out, deep exhale. One more round together, deep breath in. Deep breath out. I invite you at this time, as we ground down to an intention, to either let the palms turn up in a receptive mode or coming to prayer mudra in front of the heart, palms pressing. And if the hands are in front of the heart, let the thumbs press right into that chest space and just kind of tap that space, kind of getting it to ignite. In your mind's eye, seeing an intention here, again, this can be through a prayer, through a mantra, or simply grounding yourself into this present moment honoring how you feel right here right now knowing that there is no good or bad emotions it's just simply fluid energy and just allowing this rainbow of sensation to move through you so honoring this presence honoring your attention here and now breathing in exhaling out Allow the eyes to softly open if they are closed and just come back to the space. So we'll just start with a few seated movements here, just allowing the shoulders to kind of warm up. This is just a real quick practice, so nothing too strenuous. So as you start, let the right fingertips reach down, right or left fingertips reach up, take a full breath in here. And then as you exhale, just take it over towards that right side. As you reach up, get length, deep breath in, and then take it over to that right side once more. One more deep breath in, deep breath out. And with your inhale breath, reach up to the top, keep that left arm lifted. And then as you begin to bend your left elbow, take your right hand and reach to that opposite elbow. So right hand is holding the left elbow. And then we're just encouraging that elbow to draw towards midline. So you feel it right at the shoulder here. We're not kind of letting the shoulder open up or wrapping this outer upper arm forward. So you feel that shoulder begin to kind of soften with that breath. Exhale. One more together. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Take a full inhale and then exhale, release the arms down. We'll go for the second side. So switching the cross, if you're seated on the, seated on the heels, you can just keep the same seat, it's okay. As you let your left fingertips reach down, let your right arm reach up, full breath to extend to the fingertips and then exhale, rainbow through the side ribs over. Two more cycles of breath as you extend up, get tall. And then as you exhale, take it over, same direction. One more together as you inhale, get length, feel the right sitting bone root. And then as you exhale, take it over. 
reach up with your next inhale breath. Let the elbow bend with your exhale. Left hand reaches over to the right elbow. Prepare with the breath. And then draw that right elbow towards midline. Just very slightly heel. You get that soft little stretch all through the shoulder. Deep breath. Exhale. One more breath. From here, inhale to exhale. Let the arms reach down. All right. So from here, we're going to rock forward um, onto hands and knees. But just before we do so, I am working with a hand towel today. If you have one around the house, I would suggest grabbing one just so you have it there. You can use it for patting under the knees. Um, and then also you can use it in case the shoulders are a little bit on the tighter side today. So as we rock forward, we'll come forward to hands and knees at the front of the mat. So we're just going to take some motions through the shoulder. Again, this is really that upper shoulder, that heart space to open up and kind of work from there. So three cycles of Bidalasana cat cow. So as we begin, stack with the foundation, the elbow or the wrist, the elbow and shoulder, the knees are under our hips, starting with an inhaling breath, cow pose. So as you inhale through your sternum, lift towards the sky, deep breath, soft gaze upward, just being gentle on the neck. And then as you exhale, dome the upper back around and lengthen the tailbone towards the backs of the knees. We'll go for two more cycles with the breath, just warming up our spine, just a little more here. Deep breath in, exhale for cat back, exhale the breath. One more together, deep breath in, soft gaze. And then exhale, round and dome. All right, so with a neutral position spine, we're going to come to this position here as we thread the needle through our arms. So as we're threading the needle, there's two variations we can explore here with the legs. You can stay here in this tabletop position, option one, option A. And then option B would be letting your knees drop or knees part wide, hips to drop, and taking more of a child's pose approach to this. So I'm going to be taking that tabletop. You're welcome to explore child's pose option if that better suits your practice today. So as we start together, we'll start with our right arm reaching out to the side. I would suggest a full sweep up, let the heart extend. And then with that right arm threaded under the left arm, we're lowering down all the way to our right temple, right cheek. And again, if this is a little bit too high, you can always let the hips sink back a little bit more and use that left arm as kind of a little support here. Head does not have to touch the earth, but I would suggest if you have maybe an extra blanket or a block or even a book to let that temple rest, that right temple. So wherever you're at, you're just kind of exploring, let that temple rest wherever you can, just so the neck can soften and the shoulder can release. So as we're here, we'll take two more deep breaths. Exhale, soften just a little bit more. One more. As you let your left palm root, glide up to tabletop or back to a neutral child's pose. Second side. So as your left arm sweep, let the heart space open. And then as you exhale, threading through for the second direction. So as you draw that left temple down, option to let it rest on that book, that space there, and just allowing yourself to soften in any way, extend that right arm long. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale, exhale. One more breath. Slowly from here, we'll glide that right hand back, press up, rise up. And then from here, we'll come to downward facing dog. Now, if downward facing dog is not in your practice, you're more than welcome to extend the arms long and forehead rest for child's pose. This get that, it gets that same shoulder, that um, external rotation of the shoulder girdle that we're looking for in either of the two postures. So one just has a little bit more load to the shoulder and it is considered an inversion. So just picking and choosing today, this is your practice, you know, noticing what feels right for you. So as you ground your palm shoulder distance, spread your fingertips, and I would suggest for your first down dog, let the feet step either hip distance or even wider. Walk your legs a little bit farther back just so you can get the length of the torso so we don't feel like we're rounding that low back. Get the tailbone to softly lift and then feel the heel sink down. So, you know, for me, my hamstrings are always something I'm kind of working with in my practice and it's all good. So that's why I do down dog, <laughs> you know, so just keeping this in mind, you know, if you feel you're on a tighter side today, it's all good. That's why we practice. 
that's why we're here, you know, so that's why we're on our mat. So as you're breathing, let the head soften, either if you're in child's pose, forehead to soften to the earth. If you're in that downward facing dog position like I am here, let your head hang. So wherever we're at, face is soft, shoulders are soft, and we're just allowing ourselves to just breathe. That's really the purpose of these postures is to rest. So taking two more cycles of breath here, soft and gentle. Breathing out. One more. And exhale. Slowly from here, let the knees drop down. And again, you're welcome to sit on your heels. You're welcome to sit in that cross-like position. And we will reach for our towel. So with this towel, we're going to start together, but we're going to have it close by so we can reach for it when we're ready. So from here, and I'll turn and face you so you can see the front side of me. So as I'm here, I'm going to let my arms goal post out wide. And as I inhale, I'm going to draw my elbows back. I'm not going to puff my chest forward. I'm keeping a neutral position with my spine, but I'm just letting my elbows, my arms reach back. So I get that stretch through my chest here with an inhale breath. And then with an exhale breath, I'm going to draw my right elbow over my left as far as I can take it. It's kind of like Eagle arms, but I'm keeping that stretch through my upper back now not rounding, keeping lifted. With an inhale breath, open back up into that goal post. And then as you exhale, we'll go the second direction. So now my left elbow is gonna cross over my right and you just feel that kind of action through the upper back. So we'll keep that going. Inhale, just two more on each side. Deep breath. And then exhale, right over left. So just crossing slowly. If this is a little tricky, just let the forearms come together. It's all good. Inhale. Open it wide, feel the chest stretch, open heart here. So that's really what's great about postures like this. Energetically, physically, we're just keeping this representation of staying open, especially in our heart. Many times that gets closed off, you know, for whatever reason, for whatever trauma, whatever pain, whatever situation, it's all good. We're here, we're practicing, we're on our mat, we're breathing, we're feeling it. Whatever comes our way, we're just inviting it. All vibes welcome. So as you're taking this last round, crossing over right, or crossing over left, excuse me, we'll go one more cycle for each. Inhale, one more, now last side. And exhale. Deep breath this time, open it up wide, goal post. Ah, and exhale, reach the arms back down. All right, so similar to what we did with the shoulder opening with the elbow bend, this time we are gonna go into that shoulder opening, but with the option of the towel. So together we're going into Gomukhasana, cow face pose arms. Again, you can sit on your heels, you can sit cross-legged, you can even sit in a chair if you prefer um, at this time, if the knees are a little bit sensitive, it's all good. So as we take our towel, I'm gonna place it on my right shoulder. So as I'm placing it on my right shoulder, it's just resting there. I have enough length on both sides, so it's not one side shorter than the other. It's pretty equal across the shoulder. So I'm gonna start again with my right arm lifted up, just as we did at the beginning, reaching tall. And then as I take my elbow to bend, I'm gonna take my hand and hold on to my towel with my right hand. It's still, this upper outer arm is rotating forward, so it's drawing forward towards my face. As I take my left arm out to my left side, I'm gonna rotate my palm to face behind me. So towards the trees behind me. As I begin to bend my elbow, I'm going to reach behind. You may have to reach your strap a little bit, or excuse me, the towel down a little bit further towards the low back. But again, you know, just kind of feeling it out. But we want to connect. So I'm going to turn so you can kind of see my back now. So my hands are connecting. Um, I'm, I'm mirroring, just for mirroring purposes, that's when my left hand is on top, right hand is on bottom. But again, you can see how the hands are connecting and I'm not kind of letting my elbows play out. I'm working everything in and I'm sitting tall with a neutral spine. So no, no too much forward, no too much behind, just nice and even neutral position. So as we're here, working and spidering the hands towards one another, just getting as tall as we can in the posture, rooting through the sitting bones and rising through the crown. We'll take two more deep breaths on the side. Deep breath in, deep breath out. I'm sitting in the sun today, so I'm getting a little bit of a suntan, so it's not too bad, I guess, getting, my, getting all the Earth's energy. One more deep breath. With that next breath in, breathe deeply through the nose this time. As you sigh at the mouth, sigh that intention that you set at the beginning. 
softly, slowly release the posture when you're ready. Second side. So as we move to the second side, same setup. Again, if you prefer to sit in a chair or cross legs, please take that pick. This is your practice. You should feel invited in your body and feel really um, connected. So as you take that left arm up, breathe it tall. And as you bend your elbow, work the hand towards that towel. Now with that right arm, same, sending it out to that right side, rotate, and then let that right elbow bend. So as we work the hands to hold that towel, that strap, we're staying lifted, staying tall. I'm getting that extension through my spine upward versus forward and back, so or back. As I'm getting length, I'm softening with my face. I'm working the hands towards one another and I'm not gripping. My knuckles are soft, so my hands aren't shaking. You know, nothing's really with tension. It's all soft. Breathing in, steady with the gaze. Eyes can be closed here, eyes can be softly down. We'll take two more cycles of breath, nice and smooth. One more deep breath together. And with this last clearing breath, we'll inhale through the nose, deep, full breath in. Sigh your intention. Softly release the pose. So from here, we'll just come to that full seat. Again, you can stay seated in a chair um, if you prefer. Just taking this opportunity to come back to your intention here. So just kind of took a moment here to open up this heart, let the shoulders be open. You know, take a break maybe from our work day um, and just be here on our mat, you know, coming to this place of our practice. So from here, I invite you to either bring the palms back in front of the heart for prayer mudra or let the palms face up on the knees, just receiving your practice, receiving this intention, receiving this presence. So together, let your eyes soften downward, eyes optional to close here. Take this time, ground in, come to your intention fully. Breathe in through the nose. Sigh out the mouth. May your intention guide you from this moment beyond, setting the tone for this day, for this week beyond, even into the weekend, and even into next week. Let this intention be yours. Allow this practice of yours to guide you through these uncertain times. And I, again, thank you so much for joining me in your practice today. I'm grateful. I have a heart full of gratitude for you. Thank you for sharing your energy with me today. Again, I'm KT with Mystic Yoga. Have a great day and namaste.